Thanksgiving just wrapped up, it's starting to get a little cold outside, and we're about to send you a boatload of content in the form of advent calendars. So before we do that, I want to bring you guys a list of seven bourbons and rice that I think are super fitting for the winter time and the holidays. Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Stephen, and today I'm bringing you guys a list of seven bourbons and rice that I think are fitting for the winter times and the holidays. These are in no particular order. I'm bringing you guys three rye or variants of rye, three bourbons, and then one burr rye. So the first bottle I'm going to bring up today is going to be Redwood Empire Lost Monarch. So this one is their burr rye. I think it's fan freaking tastic. I have kind of become a Redwood Empire fanboy recently, and I do think this is their best one yet that I've had at least. Um, and honestly, it's such a good mix of a bourbon and rye. I know I do the whole blend off and whatnot, and I've done some blending of bourbons and ryes, and I have never gotten this blend of a bourbon and a rye to come out this well. It's all the things I like in a rye where it's like spicy and it has that lemony, citrus, peppery notes, but it's also sweet and creamy and vanillas that I get a lot in bourbons. And honestly, that's why I just think it's really good fit because it's a good in-between, low proof, solid, easy sipper for the holidays because a lot of these are kind of barrel proof and I think that's a good one where it's low proof, but the flavor profile matches it. If you're not heavily into rye, it's still a really good whiskey for the winter because it's spicy and you need a little spice during the winter. Moving on from the burr rye to bourbon, kicking it off with none other than what I would deem as the campfire special or the toasted marshmallow special, and that is Old Forester 1910. And yes, I know I'm kind of an Old Forester fanboy as well, and I know Old Forester shows up a lot on a lot of our lists, but honestly, this one I think is freaking perfect for the winter times because it's like sitting next to a campfire. It's toasted marshmallows, it's s'mores, it's oak, it's cherries. It's everything you like in a double oaked product, but it's not overly sweet and overly creamy. Whereas I think uh, Woodford uh, double oak is just way too sweet. This is a solid mix of what you like in a bourbon while still being that kind of toasted marshmallow aspect. And that's why it's a perfect, perfect bourbon for the holidays. And coming up after that one, a bottle that shows up on almost every single list, and honestly, the next two bourbons, they're proof heavy. The bourbons on this list, they're proof heavy. The rice, well, they're just rice. I mean, they're still kind of proof heavy too, but it is Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. These are the best barrel proof bourbons that you can find on the market, in my opinion, or at least most of the batches. I've heard really bad things about the newest batch, uh, the C921, but I would still pick it up hands down without even second guessing it, despite what I've heard, just because I think these are amazing barrel proof bourbons. They're nutty, they're chocolatey, they have a little bit of like some baking spices in them and they're just fan freaking tastic. Most of them, I kind of get this solid like chocolatey peanut butter vibe off of them, which I know that's not inherently Christmas or holiday or winter themed, but these typically are over 120. They're mostly like 125, even 130 proof. This one happens to be 127.2. This is the B520 batch. I freaking love this bottle. They're amazing. They have a lot of high proof and that's something you kind of need when it's a little cold outside, you know? If you don't have someone else to snuggle up to, you can snuggle up to a solid batch of Elijah Craig Barrel Proof for this winter. And coming up slightly behind that in my book, but still a fantastic, fantastic offering, which is readily available. Whereas the Elijah Craig's, you will have to try to find these because they won't show up everywhere. This one, you could get at 
my freaking total wine any day of the week and that is jack daniels single barrel barrel proof these are that solid brown foreman jack daniels flavor profile where it's like that banana nut bread but it's cranked up to 3000 these are this one specifically is 133.1 you know you can't drink this stuff in the middle of the summer and honestly we get a lot of summer here in arizona so when it gets a little cold outside we take advantage of that and we delve into one of the best readily available barrel proof bourbons which is jack daniels single barrel barrel proof it's a super spicy banana nut bread covered in caramel and it is fantastic all the way hands down so amazing and honestly if you don't have one of these don't sleep on them pick one up and then moving over away from bourbons we're done with the bourbons we got the three bourbons we got the one burr rye i'm gonna bring you three ryes now and the first rye on this list today is gonna be the willet small batch four-year-old barrel proof or well batch proof i think these are 108.8 so still some heat not the bourbon heat but again on rise you're not going to get that much heat and i know a lot of people aren't super rye drinkers but this is a solid one that isn't overly spicy it's more candied sweetness it's like candied black licorice i kind of really like black licorice i'm one of those weirdos who like loves it and this just reminds me so much about that just going over to my grandma's house to get some black licorice on the holidays and that's exactly what this bottle is it's candied black licorice and it's fan freaking tastic the second rye on this list is actually going to be an asterisk so this is a two-part one but it's kind of same same but different so if you can find it which i haven't been able to find it but i have tried it multiple times and it's a fan freaking fantastic bottle mid winner's night dram whichever one you can find does not matter what batch it is high west kills it with those those are fan freaking fantastic as a second runner up for that get yourself a store pick that's finished in wine. I have one that is X Sherry, and then I have one that is Syrah. Both of these are fan freaking tastic. The Syrah is not as good. The Sherry one is way, way better. This one honestly is very comparable to a Midwinter Night Dram. So if you can't find a Midwinter Night Dram like myself, get a good wine finished double rye pick. These are fan freaking tastic and it's just that spicy sweetness, but then you get that wine fruitiness and it's just so fitting for the holidays because you get that herbaceous kind of like holiday minty aspect, but you also will get that like fruitiness that's kind of like cranberries and oh, just so, so good, so good. So yeah, a solid wine finish double rice store pick or midwinter night's dram if you're lucky enough to get a bottle and you know if you're lucky enough to get a bottle you're awesome that's a good bottle hold it dear because it's fan freaking fantastic and then last but surely not least honestly probably my favorite pick for the holidays just because i think the flavor profile is so fitting sagamore spirits cash strength rye this is freaking amazing these are so good. And this isn't that expensive of a bottle. It's like 60 bucks. It's 112.2 proof, so it's not very hot, but this is Christmas in a freaking glass. It's rosemary, it's cranberries, it's just all the holiday spices wrapped up in 112.2 proof of just viscous liquid from the gods that's dramatic but the flavor profile it's spicy there's a little bit of black licorice which i kind of get on like most rice if we're being honest uh but like there's like rosemary spearmint so many solid like herbal floral spiciness that you get from the rye but it also has like a slightly fruity vanilla side as well which is fantastic but it's more like fruity in the sense of like cranberries and pomegranates which i think fits the winter profile at least for me i mean we're in arizona so winter is way different than it is for most of the people out there but yeah i think this is a very fitting bottle for the winter and if you're sleeping on sagamore spirits 
rise at all, don't be. Do yourself a favor, pick some up. And just to kind of close out to run it back, the Burr Rye you should be drinking this holiday season, Red One Empire Lost Monarch. If you can't find this, you know, Emerald Giant's also really good. It's just a rye, uh, but I think that is the best Burr Rye, or you could try to make your own Burr Rye. I think a Burr Rye is a solid sipping kind of spiciness slash sweetness of a nice mix of bourbon and rye for drinking throughout the holidays. And then the bourbons we got for the holidays are going to be 1910 because you just need that double oaked goodness. And then Elijah Craig Bear Proofs because, well, these are just amazing chocolate peanut butter that I will find a way to fit in any time. If you're allowed to bring proof, this is the best proof I think I have, in my opinion at least. I don't know, I'm just an Elijah Craig fanboy when it comes to the barrel proofs. It is what it is. And Jack Daniel's single barrel, it is dessert in a glass. It is the toasted banana bread covered in nuts and caramel, and it's just so rich and fluffy and viscous and fantastic. And I mean, they're 133 proof, so if you need some heat, Jack Daniel's gonna bring that heat. And then, for rice, we got Willet Small Batch. Fantastic, fantastic rye, candied black licorice all the way. It's so sweet, so, so good, so good. And it just makes me wanna cuddle up next to a fire. And then the Asterix Midwinter's Night Strand or a really solid wine finished store pick. They're phenomenal all the way. Honestly, if you find a store pick and you're like 50-50 about it and they won't let you try, honestly, I think you should just pick it up. You know, given most stores will let you try their store picks, they're, that's kind of a thing. But if you can't try it and you're on the fence, I say just send it. Double rice store picks, I have not had a single bad wine finished double rice store pick. There was a scotch finished one that I tried once and I was like, this is hot garbage and I like scotch. So, you know, take that as you will. And then last but surely not least, probably best in my opinion, Sagamore Spirits Cash Strength Rye fantastic christmas and a glass say no more and that's my list those are going to be the seven bottles that i think are perfect for the holiday time and that's just me you know your list can be different if you have a different list leave it in the comments down there below i want to know what you guys are drinking you know did i miss something is there a bottle that i don't have that you think is better than any of these bottles on the list let me know leave it down there below uh, and if you have any other suggestions for just Christmas type whiskeys, I'm into it. I'm all game for it. But that's a wrap for this video. As I already said, comment. We appreciate that. Also subscribe and like this video. It helps us out with that algorithm and helps us get better content to bring to you guys in the future. Also check us out on Instagram, Patreon, and our Facebook group. The link for the Patreon is down there below. But that's going to be a wrap for this video. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.